Rough seas and storms such as this one at Crosby Beach near Liverpool are relatively common events and are normally managed by natural or man-made sea defences. Several factors can contribute to coastal flooding and can combine to create tidal surges that can lead to extreme flooding in low-lying coastal areas. Low atmospheric pressure draws the sea surface upwards, raising local sea level. Strong onshore winds cause water to pile up as it approaches the land. Higher than average tides that occur twice a month. All of these factors contributed to the tidal surge and subsequent coastal flooding that occurred during the storm that battered the UK on the 5th of December 2013. This footage was shot in Hoylake and West Kirby, near to Liverpool. The tidal surge breached the sea defences, flooding roads and property and allowing powerful waves to come ashore. The surge also raised sea level in the North Sea, leaving low-lying areas of the UK's east coast underwater. Sea defences are designed to withstand most tidal surges, although wind-blown spray can still cause flooding. Without major re-engineering of defences, the risk of extreme flooding will increase dramatically in the future because of sea level rise due to climate change. The red areas on the map show where the current chance of flooding each year is roughly 1 in 1,000. A rise in mean sea level of 35 centimetres would increase the chance of flooding to 1 in 100 for each year and a rise of 70 centimetres to 1 in 10. Approximately 700 million people live on or near coasts where there have always been storms. But the risk of flooding is increasing as climate change causes sea levels to rise. <laughs>